Is Bremerton really a cruise ship town now? We're going to answer that question for you and fill you in with five total stories on this week's Beat Blast. Stay tuned. Welcome back to this edition of the Beat Blast, sponsored by the Admiral Theater. Story number one today, the American Constellation came to town over the weekend, the second year in a row for the six-deck, 175-passenger cruise line that's tied up on Bremerton's breakwater. It's the largest ship that's ever visited the Bremerton port, and its 10-night Grand Puget Sound cruise includes Tacoma, Olympia, and the San Juans, as well as Victoria, British Columbia stops. The Kitsap Sun reported last year it costs around $6,000 to go. The American Spirit, a smaller vessel owned by the same company, has visited Paulsbo since 2013. Story number two, sinuses don't lie. The Scotch broom is blooming and many of us are feeling it. But the county has a relatively new six-legged weapon in the fight against this invasive foe, a weevil. And we know that managing scotch broom is a pretty daunting task. And what we've chosen to do is figure out if there's something that can help us in the battle against scotch broom. We know that the weevil does one thing in particular, which is reduce the seed set. We know that it digs into those seed pods and eats the seeds. What it doesn't do is it won't manage what we call the parent plants. So the plants that we see behind me are still going to be here. But what's not going to be here are the thousands and thousands of seeds that each one of these plants can produce. On average, each scotch broom plant produces 500,000 seeds. The weevil itself isn't quite that hungry, but it'll eat about half of those seeds every season. But we know that eventually when we come back out to a site like this, there'll be far fewer scotch broom plants and the weevil will still be prevalent and very, very voracious at that point. Story number three, our ferry system isn't always just for commuting. Sometimes it can be a real lifesaver. Case in point this Friday when the Washington State Ferries vessel Caliton was heading to Bremerton and entering Rist Passage. A distressed kayaker was in Puget Sound without a paddle, as this video from commuter John Melicor shows. Ferry crews were able to rescue the kayaker, who was stable and conscious before being treated by medics. The kayak, meanwhile, was taken by Kitsap Transit to the Seattle Ferry Dock. Story number four. Have you ever thought about what might be the tallest man-made structure in Kitsap County? The KCPQ Tower on Gold Mountain comes in at 700 feet tall, but right behind it is something many of us see every day, the shipyard smokestack. At 304 feet tall, the stack once emitted coal exhaust when it was constructed in the late 1980s at a cost of $161 million, but it was converted to natural gas in 1996. The steam plant still heats water in most of the buildings at Naval Base Kitsap Bremerton and the Puget Sound Naval Shipyard. For more information about this icon in Bremerton, go to kitsapsound.com. Finally, story number five, which you know is what's on tap for your weekend, sponsored by Silver City Brewery Tap Room. The 11th annual Kitsap Harbor Fest will take over the Louis Minner Boardwalk and Bremerton Marina this Saturday and Sunday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Saturday and 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Sunday. You'll find plenty of vendors, boats to tour, and live music as part of these Memorial Day festivities. That's our show for this week. I'm going to leave you with some sights and sounds of the 72nd Annual Armed Forces Day Parade, and I hope you have a great rest of your week. Special thanks to our sponsors and those of you who subscribe to the Kitsap Sun. We could not do this without you. See you next time.